That one of the best things about the system once it's installed is that um, the sashes can be easily removed for cleaning and continued maintenance, decorating, etc. Um, as you can see, we're a long way up. We wouldn't want to be up there um, on scaffolding painting these sashes. So I'm going to show you now what it involves to, to take the sashes out into the room. Okay, first off, removing the screws from the staff bead. If we leave them half out, then it'll be that much easier to put them back in again after. Yeah, the bottom sash, once it's lifted above the, the bottom staff bead, and swing out. You can release it from the cord very easily just by pulling on the bottom like so. Put the bottom sash just here. Top sash, of course, still not able to come out into the room because of the parting bead. We just need to remove one side. Again, because I'm right-handed, I'll take out the staff bead, the parting bead on the left. So just a little grip there and it's popped out. Got access to the top here. Let's grab that too and pop that out. And now we're able to do exactly as we did with the bottom sash to the top sash. So bring it down to a comfortable height. Bring them out, releasing one side, changing hand, holding the top of the sash, open out the other side, Let's grab that tail, and we've got the top sash out too. Now we're able to paint the inside of the box and the sill from inside the room, paint the sashes. Once everything's dry, they can just pop back in. Okay, so assuming now that the, paint, the sashes have been painted and the box has been painted and everything's good and dry, um, I'll show you what it would involve to put the sashes back in. Okay, so in reverse order, starting with the top sash. A little tap. Now we need to put the second section of the parting bead in, offering it in. So we'll give that a little tap as well. Sash to come in. Zoom in there at the top. Working nicely, nicely again. Lovely. And I think you'd agree that's a little bit easier than building a scaffolding tower up three storeys and painting the windows in situ.